This video will demonstrate how to include both of your permanent and current or Lubbock addresses in your header at the top of your resume. This type of header formatting is especially useful if you're applying for a job in your hometown and want to show the resume reader that relocating won't be an issue for you. So we'll start from a blank document, basically as if I had just opened up Microsoft Word. Before going any further, just make sure you can see the ruler at the top. If you can't, simply click on View and click the ruler checkbox. If you're working on a Mac, you might have a drop-down menu instead of this nice-looking toolbar, but the idea should still be the same. The three-part header is basically working with three alignments. The left alignment will have our current address. The center alignment will have our name and universal contact info, like a phone number and email. And right alignment is going to have our permanent address. To start, we need to set a center alignment. I'll explain why we need to do this at the end, but for now, just follow along. First, I'll hit center alignment and zoom in, way in, to about 200%. I'll also increase my font size to 20 points. Next, I'll hit the enter button to go down a line and type a capital X. Hit the up arrow to go to the first line. And now, things are going to get a little tricky. Locate the button over the top left corner here. This button lets us create tab stops with different alignments. Essentially, once we incorporate one of these tab stops into our ruler at the top, we can change our alignment. If we click the button once, we've now changed the tab stop to center alignment. If you're working on a Mac, and depending on your version of Windows, a drop-down menu may appear when you click on this icon. All you'll have to do is simply select Center. I'll now click somewhere in the white ruler here, and you can see that the icon from the left appears in the ruler. We've now brought a center tab stop into our document. However, it's not properly center aligned. It's kind of off here. That's where the big X comes in. I'll click and drag this icon, and you can see a dotted line appears showing you where the alignment for the tab stop is going to be in your document. I want to make sure that that dotted line falls right in the center of the X, which is the center of our document. Think of X marks the spot. However, as I drag the icon and the dotted line moves, you can see the icon in the ruler is snapping to different marks on the ruler, and the dotted line is just barely missing the center of the X. To fix this, hold down Alt on PC, or Option on a Mac, and you'll see the line now glides across. Now I can just line it up, and there we go. Before moving on, we need to set the right alignment. This is a lot easier. Just click on the icon at the left once, or if you get the drop down menu, select right. Now, just click in the ruler and drag the icon into the triangle here. If everything went accordingly, you should now be in center alignment and have icons in the center and the right, and they should look slightly different. In size 20 bold font now, just type your name. For this resume, I think I'll use one of my favorite comic characters right now, Miles Morales. Once you've got your name, go ahead and delete the X and the line the X was on, which should put your cursor right up against the end of your last name. Now, hit the enter button once to go to the next line, and you can see that the tab stop icons carry over onto our second line. Hit the left alignment button at the top here to move the cursor to the left, and we're all set. Our alignment and tab stops will hold for the rest of the document as long as we keep hitting enter. If we need to center any kind of information, we can just hit the tab button once. If we need to right align any kind of information, we need to hit the tab button twice. So, Let's walk through putting in our header information with this new format. You can just follow along and add your info to your document. So we're on the left side here, and in 12 point bold font, type current address. This will be our current address section header. We can even zoom out a bit if you'd like. Now hit the tab button, and we have the center alignment, so we can just type our phone number. Just make sure to remove the bold formatting before you type. Once that's done, hit the tab button again, and we should be at the right side of the page. In bold font, we'll type permanent address. We'll hit the enter button again, and now we're on the left side of the page, so we can type our current address in size 12 plain style font. Tab over to the center of the line, and you can type your email address. Hit tab again to get to the right side of the page, and, well, remember to remove the hyperlink first. Now we can type the permanent address.
Once that's done, hit enter and type your current city street and zip. Then hit tab to get to the center. And since we don't really need to type anything else here, we can just hit tab again to get to the right side. And we'll just finish up the contact info and there you go. A header with two sets of complete addresses and your phone number and email address centered. If you find you're having difficulties with this kind of formatting, please don't hesitate to schedule a resume review with the Career Management Center. We'll be happy to help walk you through the process so that you get the resume looking just the way you want. Thanks for watching.